in this program has been a staple of Monday nights for over 25 years. It is entertainment. It is excitement. It is Monday Night Raw. And tonight, I got a feeling we're going to see something we have never seen before. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. Time to rock and roll. If you're facing off against Zack Ryder, a word to the wise, if I may. Be prepared for a flurry of aerial attacks, devastating kicks, and of course, fist pumps. It's Long Island Ice Z. You know it. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Oh, he caught him with a knee. Good night. Eviscerations. Concern. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, Ouch. momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Shoulders on the mat. Digging deep for a kick out. Way too early. After Triple H, I never thought we'd see somebody use the pedigree in such a dominating fashion. The finishing move is just one of the things Seth Rollins acquired during his time as a member of the Authority. Kick. Oh, right in the back. Ah, really the back suplex. Some would say that Seth Rollins' career in WWE is the best example of a competitor's evolution. The pedigree is a finishing move that's helped Rollins climb to the top of sports entertainment. I'll never forget that episode of Monday Night Raw when Roman Reigns went for a spear and Rollins turned it into a pedigree. There's no doubt about it. The pedigree is a devastating finisher in the hands of Seth Rollins. Oh boy! No! Oh, what a super kick from the architect! He's in the driver's seat now. Nobody does it better, Michael. What a knee strike from the Kingslayer. I can't put He's got the shoulders down. One, two, three. And Seth Rollins picks up the win. And here's another peek of the moves he saw in that match. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Here is your winner, Seth. Big win here to start the show. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. What a way to kick off tonight. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. It'll be the revival against the Authors of Pain. Big time tag team match underway here. Guys, there's nothing like a good old fashioned tag team match. Kick. Nailed it. Close line. Wow. Elbow. 
That kick will stop me in your tracks. Ooh, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch-up. The two out of three falls match to saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in a two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a road kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss sideboard. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing great separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke about so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. And off the tag is Dash Wilder. Wilder is fired up. You've got to believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. Terrific reversal by Dash Wilder. Yeah, look at the quickness of Razor. Man, that big shouldn't move that fast. Are we going to see the tag? And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. part of the match for him here. He simply cannot let his opponent gain too much momentum. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The uh, got the shoulders down. Digging deep for a kick out. Too soon. Oh, going to the top. High risk. his head and he's tapped into something special. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team title reign to the resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever 
SmackDown Tag Team Champions. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Thunderous Russian leg sweep by Akam. Now that's what I call making a statement. Things look dire for Dash Wilder. Yeah, not looking good, Byron. This match might be open. The shoulders are down. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Double team. Have it Scott Dawson be put on the offensive quickly here? This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. It's make a break time here, and he absolutely has to find a way to get back on the offensive. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Goes down hard. Ooh. That's how you wear down your opponent. Superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. I don't know where he gets the energy, but it seems endless right now. Man, Wilder is feeling it right here. Lightning fast reflexes. As Wilder has a mob. Backbreaker. Corey, that looks familiar. This one is over. Hopefully, Razor can recover. And up the tag is Scott Dawson. Kaboom! Dawson takes out the knee. Uh oh. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. When this guy's on, look at him. You gotta believe this one's over. Scott Dawson can't be enjoying this.
match. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Every single minute of this one was memorable. Here are your winners, Dash Wilder and Scott Johnson, the Royal Rival. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. It's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting. I think... Up next, we have singles action versus a formidable opponent. You don't want to miss it. since coming back. Drew really values this second opportunity. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Drew McIntyre looking to squeeze his opponents like a set of bad pipes. Byron, that metaphor was uglier than a pile of haggis. Strike. I don't think I've seen a superstar more driven to succeed than Drew McIntyre. When he was released in 2014, McIntyre said he'd be back, and that's exactly what happened. Oh, McIntyre really took he's got him covered. Not much behind that pin attempt. You could take more than that. you two were saying about McIntyre's initial release, not only did he return with more fire and fans, he also came back in even better shape than before. Yeah, McIntyre's always had a height advantage, but in his time away, he worked on his strength, conditioning, and added considerable power to his Claymore kick and aftershock DDT. Boom! <laughs> Dolph Ziggler gets the cover. And McIntyre with a quick kick out. Drew McIntyre has chosen to kick out here. See what I did? Strutting, but he best remember pride comes before the fall. And Sigler gets out of the way quickly. Lightning speed from Dolph. And suplex. Dolph Sigler gets the cover. There's not a person in this arena who thought that that was it for him. Gonna take more than that. Oh, oh man. What a stop. Drew McIntyre beginning to peter out here. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by him. Just a nasty headbutt. Can he finish the job? Oh, man. Dolph Ziggler really needs to dig down deep. Oh, boy. Ziggler with the famous sir. But he's got to capitalize now. making a statement. Yeah, that's how you make a name for yourself, Michael. Cover, cover! Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Uh-oh! Oh, this is gonna be nasty! This is gonna be bad! What's drunk? Can't hit! It's the mark. He might 
might just this may very well be it. Digging deep for a kick out. Have to put in a little more work than that. But his biggest heist may have been when he became Mr. Money in the Bank. That victory undoubtedly started Ziggler down a road that not many have traveled, ultimately culminating with a successful cash-in the night after WrestleMania 29. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. Neck breaker! I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Take requests. We're tuning up the band. Swing! Team music! That has got to be it. He's going for the pin. Two! Three! Yes! Ziggler takes it! Let's take another look at these guys in action. Check him out here. He's getting it done here. Here is your winner, Dolph. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And you just know the rest of the card... Here we go, guys. Tag team action is underway. And guys, I'm pretty sure I can watch these women compete each and every week. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extends her elbow. Spinning kick in the gut. make sure this doesn't get out of hand. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though, I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. From the looks of things, it just doesn't appear to be her night. But hey, it's still early enough for her. She goes for the cover. Easily kicks out of that one. Remarkable. Beautiful technique. Looks like she wants the win early. All too easy for Natalia to escape. She's still in this one. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, oh, oh man! Trucking with precision. Oh, the oh, oh my goodness, crushing it! Starting to fight out, guys. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Ah, 
I'm going to go on the record right now and say Natalia is the physically strongest woman in sports entertainment. There's no way anyone can match power with the Queen of Hearts, though I think Natalia is strongest when her heart is black. Natalia has incredible strength and the ability to channel that strength in different ways. It would not be wise for an opponent to try and get the best of Natalia in the power department. There are so many things a superstar needs to be wary of when locking up with the Queen of Hearts. But the first thing Natalia's opponent must accept is they can't try and match power with a third generation superstar. Bad idea. Nia Jack's NXT day, she really displayed her dominance on her rise to the top, dispatching performers like Liv Morgan and Carmella without much trouble. You know, having been there for Nia's early days, I can tell you she was milliseconds away from beating the likes of Bayley and Asuka for the NXT Women's Championship. Nia had takeover battles well in hand with both women, but lost due to rookie miscues. And now that she's got more experience, she's earning main event matches and winning titles. Oh, flying forearm, that'll turn your lights out. Ruby Riot is not interested in red carpets auditioning for Total Divas and making personal appearances. This is a cold-hearted individual who wants to take down the entire system in sports entertainment. You just don't appreciate an entrepreneurial spirit, Cole. Ruby Riot embodies the punk rock ethos of do it yourself. She'll do whatever it takes to make her the top. Touching on Ruby Riot's punk rock mentality. This is a woman whose goal is to cause a riot. The entire women's division has been on edge since the Riot Squad exploded onto the scene. I, she's got a chance to win it here. Natalia is rolling now. Nasty impact. Queen of Hearts looking to finish things off. He's about to do so, Corey. If she gets some shooter, apply. She got her good there. They did it. Wow, what a match. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. That's a woman on a mission. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here are your winners, Nia Jax and Natalia. Natalia with the finishing touches on this one. Look out, girls. These two women don't look like they plan on ever losing. Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. We hope you enjoyed that great match. Tag team matchup now underway. Well, that was quick. And these guys are not getting along. 
They better get on the same page if they want to stand any chance of picking up a victory. And we're now underway with this huge tag team match. And he's a proud guy. Would that title will not be on the line here? Oh, no. Curtis Axel looking to finish it. He's definitely starting to lose it here. Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. Team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's Ouch. attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him. Oh! Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Oh man, what a flash! A few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game-changer right there, Michael. The rivalry between Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt reached its end in one of the most bizarre matches in WWE history. The final deletion set at the Hardy compound. Michael, I know you are not a believer in Logan Matt Hardy, and has since been called out by Zip and son Maxwell and faithful servant Senior Benjamin. But you have to admit that the Lake of Reincarnation had a positive effect on Bray Wyatt. And a pin attempt. I have to interject because the Woken Warrior has said that you two obsolete mules cannot possibly convey the wonderful power of the Lake of Reincarnation. Any further talk from you and Vanguard One will initiate the Boomstick Protocol on this announce table. Okay, look, all I can point to is what's happened in the ring. Bray Wyatt mysteriously appeared to help Matt Hardy win the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal and then join forces to become Raw Tag Team Champions at the Great Royal Rumble. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. There may be no preventing it. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And He's looking at it. was the boat dazzler. He's in the driver's seat now. Bo Dallas might have just set the end of this match in motion. It's a pin! I knew it was only a matter of time. There's a pin now. And there's the kick out. The eater of worlds doesn't stay down that easily. That's how you wear down your opponent. the wall. 
He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment oh, if he wants to win here. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this, and what I've learned so far here today is that there is absolutely no quitting him. His hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh boy, he is rolling. Side of back. Here's his chance. He's calling for it. This might be it, guys. Oh, man, can Matt Hardy recover from this? He's in a precarious position for sure. His shoulders are down. The pen's broken up. Two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Oh, what impact. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Axel with a snap mare, just like Daddy used to do. Oh, incredible. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. But the problem, Corey, is, is I don't even know if a victory like that is going to be able to bring these two together. There's just too much tension here. Look, you got to look beyond the surface. These two can't stand each other. Just a matter of time before this union explodes. And anyway, I agree with you, Corey. Just two massive egos here. And I don't know how you keep those egos in check. Well, they're not fooling anybody. These two detest one another. Why don't you just get it done? Start throwing hands right now. Tag team matchup now underway. Well, that was quick. And these guys are not getting along. 
Better get on the same page if they want to stand any chance of picking up a victory. Look at this. Absolutely has to get back in the ring. There's no way around it. He might have it. Is he done? And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Just head crank. Look at the torque. He's going for the pin. Nice quick kick out by Sami Zayn. Too soon. Oh boy, he is rolling. How does Finn Balor come back from this brutal beatdown? His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. Especially you, Saxton. But then again, I never believe anything that comes out of your mouth. Hey, he can still win this thing, guys. We've all seen him come back from much worse. Uh-oh. Look at this! Bomb. Can't waste any time here. Shoulders on the back. Yeah, I don't believe it, that he didn't win this match right there. Definitely has his work cut out for him. What a drop kick right to the back. What is keeping Finn Balor in this match? Barely hanging in there. I have a feeling this isn't going to end well for him. He's getting absolutely trounced right now, guys. At this point, he probably doesn't even know which corner's his. It's pretty hard to make a tag when you don't know where your corner is. Whether you love him or a suplex. Things are about as bad as they can possibly. His shoulders are down. What is keeping this competitor going? Even now, Finn Balor refuses to give an inch, fighting through and battling on. Looking for the finish. He's close to being done here. Look at him. He's a guy that can turn it on whenever he wants. Oh, 
Kevin Owens may be in a bad way here. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't necessary considering he has a very capable partner he can tag in here. This isn't his first rodeo. He had to expect to take on some offense here tonight. Byron, I think Finn Balor's due for a little target practice. Oh, you're not lying. Here he comes. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. Warm up the bus. This one is over. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Finn Balor perched on top. Here it comes. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Beautiful technique. tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. This is where Finn Balor's at home. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Harsh impact. Knocked him right off his feet. Will this be enough? Well, that was a close call. He's still in this. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. Oh, Finn Balor never ceases to amaze me. He leaves no doubt right there. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. Balor looking to close this one out. Why not get the best seat in the house? The best view of what's going on. Ah, they're just, just disrespecting this young man, Corey. That's all this is about. Mind games, Cole. Man, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we've been paid for this. Well, actually, hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. John Cena is one of WWE's longest yeah. tenured veterans, but he's still got plenty left in the tank. I agree with you, Byron. There's a reason they call the guy Big Match John. Oh, 
extend your elbow. But he's not appearing too worse for wear, at least not yet anyway. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. each other. Here's another look. Remember this? Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. What's going on here? I think we're about to find out. I think this is about to pick up. He's got him where he wants it, brother. Uh, He's making a statement here with this attack. And if Dean Ambrose is able to break free. That's how you wear down your opponent. Uh-oh, what is Dean Ambrose going to do here? Incoming. Oh boy, he is rolling. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole.